All right. Hello, everybody. It is me, Johnson Chan. I've done one of those intros in, like, a long time. So I had a nice little day off, quote-unquote. Not really. Uh, yesterday, so that's why I didn't make any videos. I mean, like I said, I think two days ago. Plus, you know, I'm, like, bobbing and weaving out of Zilla Finance. That shit's, like, going all over the place. Look, luckily, I've already been taking profits, so I don't care about the current dip that much. <clears throat> you know, and I'm in the Discord of stuff, and we're all suggesting the right fixes, so... And David Zilla just said, you know, yeah, don't worry, we'll, we'll make sure everything, everybody wins with Z shares 1.0, whatever. So I want to let that play itself out and then do a video on that afterwards. But, you know, before I go into Scarface, which is hilarious, um, I should always, I should stop saying um so much. I, I, I used to be good at not doing that. So I want to just tell you that it's always important to take profits, right? If you think something is not gonna is gonna tank especially when you're doing tune forks because you know how volatile and hyper pumpy and hyper dumpy they get take 50 percent or even more than that and just store it in whatever right if you're on phantom store it as phantom if you're really paranoid store it as a stable coin you know your choice i prefer die or well i usually prefer die d-a-i that's my favorite all right but some of you can use whatever stable coin you prefer. You know, or if you think it's going to moon, then only take like 20-30% or less than that, right? But don't be like the people I see in Zilla Finance or really any other Discord, right? Where Snow Tomb or Two Ohm. It's like, I put everything in there! I lost it all! You fucking mods you! You fucking shit devs you! You fucking rug pull you! I'm out! Alright? It's like, you're, you're going to be that guy, all right? In fact, I see a couple of them in my YouTube comments, and I promptly block them and delete all their fucking comments, all right? Because this channel, just like Gregor Manorino says, is for winners, okay? Which means we, I don't have tolerance or room for stupid people, all right? You know, if you're going to play greedy, like in StarCraft, and go all in on your economy, and then you get killed by like, a, like six Zerglings and three Marines, I mean, whose fault is that really? It's yours for being greedy. So always pull profits out and then, you know, just admit that you're wrong and take losses as well, all right? Now, if you really believe in the project, and I always try to cover projects that are not rug pulls, then you'll eventually make money, you'll make your money back if you stay in long enough, right? Because remember, time can be your greatest ally or your greatest enemy, all right? Well, I want time to be my greatest ally, so... You know, if you combine taking some profits with time and money management, then you basically can never lose, right? I'm making a shit ton off of Zilla, Zilla Finance. I still am, all right? But because there's so many changes and crazy things going on, I can't do a video on it yet. Because if I do a video, then it's going to change in like literally in like 30 minutes or 60 minutes. It's like, oh, now I got to do this whole thing again. So I got to let that thing play itself out, you know? But yeah, I was paying out like, what, 50, 100, 200% APR. What do you think I did with all that money? I compounded a little bit, and then I pulled out the rest, right? I put it in other more stable projects, and I'm storing it as AVAX, because now I need to put money in my bank account. So, you know, because I got bills due uh, in about um, 24 days. So, you know, I've been really riding the line, because I've just been spending all my profits buying up all of these projects, right? You know, I'm in everything, 2 ohm, 3 ohm. Piggy Finance, of course, Dow King called the shit out of that. I'm making so much good money off of that. I'm, like, so happy. And it's going to go much higher, all right? So it does seem like, yeah, Harry Yee is going to enter the game for Piggy Finance if it hits 20 million TVL. I don't know what that means, and I guess I don't care because that means that shit's going to the roof because it's on AVAX, not Phantom. So he must, So Harry Yee wants to compete against other projects, which I'll cover, Rip A Finance and a couple others, I guess. That also want to go cross chain, so that's the next big thing for Tomb Forks. Yeah, so whoever does that first, you know, they're just gonna get all the money. And then of, of course the other competitors will copy it and then come in at a lower, you know, market cap. But you know, whatever. Like that, it'll just be good for all of us. It'll be really good for Tomb Forks because they'll be more stable and it'll make more money. So when these projects, you know, like Scarface just went down, Draco Finance went down, all this stuff when they go down. Hopefully that means it'll be over with faster or, you know, it won't be as bad. But either way, it'll just be more money to be made. So again, keep pulling profits, right? Make money on the way up and then you make less money on the way down, 
but at least you're making money, all right? You're not going to be like those idiots in the Zilla Discord going, I lost fucking everything, you know, fuck this mod, get rid of JJT or whatever, right? Because everyone was blaming him. I mean, technically, he did make a mistake, but he, he wasn't trying to screw the project. He just, I mean, he even said himself, he doesn't have any familiarity with being a mod. I thought he was familiar with being a mod. Well, I'm sure he learned his lesson, so, you know, everything's going to be fine. Ah, uh, shit. Please tell me... Oh, good. Okay, it's not Zilla Finance that made the announcement, because everybody's actually well done. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. What is this? Oh, yeah. All right, I gotta check the delete Discord real quick. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I hate DAO so much. All right, so anyway, that's really important, all right? I'm still seeing people not doing these things, so that's why I'm going to put these kinds of, like, investing tidbits from my own experience. The reason why I make money, and more importantly, I was able to lose technically a lot of money in Metaverse Pro slash Congruent, which I haven't taken the loss yet, right? I only lose when I sell. So I'm still getting all my money back for that eventually, but I still have to battle back from that, right? Just like Donald Trump did in the late 80s, early 90s during the savings and loans crisis. You know, he talked about in his book that he was down like, what, two, three billion dollars? His, his, he, even, he even said to his ex-wife or wife at the time, that they were pat like, or he was passing by a bum, and then he mentioned it to like, well, his soon-to-be ex-wife at the time. Yo, this homeless bum is three billion dollars richer than me because Trump had a lot of debt, but the bum doesn't have anything. So, bum has zero, but Trump had negative three billion. All right, negative. All right, so it's pretty cool that he bounced back, and then I did the same thing, right, thanks to these tomb forks. So that's, and then of course my YouTube is exploding. All right, so thank you to everybody who's subscribing. All right. So, anyway, I'll make sure to keep repeating these tidbits for all the new people. And really, for all of you who, who, who are been here for a while or will be here for a while, you really do need to drill this in your head. All right? I'm really going to keep... Just like my, my mom and dad used to do. And I'm going to, like, nag me to eat vegetables. Well, I'm going to nag you to, you know, do proper time and money management so you don't lose your effing shirt. Like, you know, a lot of people do. Okay. So, that, uh, so with that little ramble out of the way... Uh, so Scarface was told to me by Crypto G Gen Ape and uh, well, I guess I could call him uh, Halo in the Elite Discord, and I kind of passed on this because it's like at the it's like I just in I'm just in too many forks, so now I'm actually consolidating, right? At some point, I cannot invest in every single one of these projects that I do videos for, right? I need the content, but. You know, not only do I not want to stretch out my money, but more importantly, I don't want to stretch out my time. I actually noticed that at one point I had like 11, 12 projects, and I was taking forever to compound, withdraw, bridge, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know, at this point, if I have like 20, 30 projects, I'm just going to be doing this shit all day, all right? And then prime time hits, the blockchains get congested because us idiots here in America, on the East Coast, especially here in New York City, we start jamming up the network. You know, gas fees go up, and it's like, okay, I'm spending a lot of money on this. It's like, this is really annoying. And quite frankly, it's not really profitable. I mean, I make money, but I make much more money if I make, like, one good play on, like, Zilla Finance, right? You know, that makes me way more. I don't want to tell you how much I'm making, despite all the crap that's going on, but it's really good. It's really good. All right, so... So Scarface has been out for, I don't know, at least a few days now, at least. Actually, let me just check the chart. They've been out for a while. So I didn't actually do, so obviously, like I said, I didn't do anything. Um, so now I just do pure research. And of course, these videos are being pre-recorded, right? It's not live anymore because, you know, as much as, again, as much as I like to interact with chat, it does make the videos longer, so, and I just, you know, I just want to get these over with, and on top of that, I'm waiting for David Zilla to announce his fix, if he hasn't already. Okay. So, this has been out apparently for about, at least four days, but about five days, so that's good. They haven't rug pulled yet. So, let me set this to one hour. Try and see if I can find out. Okay, so as always, there's always a giant spike during the Genesis pool because there's no liquidity, and then it goes up and down like crazy, and then eventually settles out. So it seems like it's settling out around. Well, it says this is 480. So what is this token? So SCAR is the base token, and SCAR shares is like the shares. So we do a one hour chart, same thing. 
Okay. Now, now that I've been doing these for a while, it pretty much occurred to me that I can kind of figure out when's a good time to buy and blah, 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 and when will things dump. So the first thing you got to look at is what is the peg, all right? Every, every single tomb fork is pegged to something. So this thing is pegged to one phantom. Okay. Great. So yeah, this thing, this thing will still be under a lot of cell pressure because it's still way above peg, 2.35, blah, blah, blah. Now with that being said, while it's still above peg, and we just had a pretty nice, giant, gigantic dump, right? Then that means the shares in theory should be pretty stable because you buy the shares to dump it in the boardroom, which my idiot camera is covering. And I got to connect. Just give me a second here. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so people will buy the shares to get a bunch of APR to go grab rewards can be playing. Okay, that, that can then that you can grab a bunch of base tokens, which in this case is scar or scars. <laughs> this is a really nice theme. I really like it. All right, and then you just simply dump it on the market to try to bring this thing back down to peg. All right, because that's how the tomb forts always work. Now, with that being said, what I well, let's say I want to get in this project, what I buy right now. I'd be a little, I'd be a little hesitant. Like as always, my favorite thing nowadays is just buy the shares now, and then LP it in the farms, which actually we should now go into, right? I always do the share liquidity pools. So in this case, that would be Scarface shares Phantom LP, because it's basically like the boardroom, but you have you, you have mobility, right? You can pull your money out at any time. That's way more important. If you dump your stuff in the boardroom, right? Well, I mean, you're kind of stuck for 18 hours, right? It says, this one here says three epochs. Some require, like Piggy Finance at one point required six epochs. So you, have, so you were stuck in their boardroom for like 36 hours. That's way too much risk. You know how, you all know how fast and volatile these markets can go. In the blink of like 10 minutes, like the price, the price can drop like 50%. But you can't do anything except take it up the ass because you're stuck in the boardroom. All right. But at least if you're in here, the liquidity pool, guess what? You withdraw, claim and withdraw everything, break it apart and dump it. All right. Dump it before you, dump it before you become someone's liquidity. All right. That's just how it goes. So, so that's why I, and this, again, the APRs are very similar. The boardroom is, the boardrooms usually will be slightly higher and it should because of the risk. Right, but if you compare this 6600 APR for the boardroom to this 51-57% APR, you know what? I'd rather just do the liquidity pool. I mean, there's a reason why I don't always go for the highest yield no matter what. You want to go for the highest yield that also happens to be safe. And now I'm going to add another rule that also happens to be mobile. All right, just like Bain, all right? The bomb is now mobile, all right? You want to be mobile, all right? All right, just think about Bain, right? From the Dark Knight Rises, right? Did he just leave the freaking bomb, like, in a centralized place where Batman and everybody on the rebels could, and the cops could, like, you know, go right at it? Of course not. He kept that shit mobile. And then to be more c cunning, he had three of them, but only one of them was the real truck, right? That's the power of being, you know, mobile. And it's the same exact concept here in money, right? You got to be able to move money in and out. Wheels are rich for a reason. I got rich for a reason. I'm mobile, okay? So I would do this. Now, with that being all said, I'd be a little concerned that the peg is still 2.35, but it just did have a pretty nice dump. So, however, I think I would expect more dumps. Uh, I would maybe put a little bit of money in here, right? Uh, but with that being said, you can still see that there's still quite a bit of sell pressure. So if I see, I tend to just go in right now. So I am still a little impatient. That's still something I need to work on because I still have that problem too. I just think this thing's about to move. Uh, but with that being said, you know, I would put a little bit of money here and I would just compound a little bit, take a little bit of profit out and then just see what happens. All right. Because again, this is just way too new. This thing is, this project's only like four and a half, five days old or something like that, at least four days. 
So the first thing you always want to look at is the peg. If it's too far above peg, it's going to dump, right? Great finance dumped, right? Because, you know, I saw that the peg just kept going up. I was like, this doesn't make sense, right? The peg's supposed to be one-to-one, -one, you know, magic internet money. It's like six or seven or even eight. It's like, okay. And remember, when, when, the, when, the, when the peg to base token dumps, you can bet the share is dumped too. Like that's always, a, the, that's always what happens. So, yeah, uh, yeah, and with that being said, you can also choose to do the base token. I don't do these anymore, all right, but it's technically good for the protocol if people did do that, but um, I guess I'm the selfish asshole that doesn't do that, you know. But with that being said, they still make sh it's still pretty good, all right, and it's supposed to be safer, quote-unquote, which technically I guess is true, but... I only still rather have the shares because that's what I care about is the, is the shares. So you can decide how wh which one of these two you want to do, but I always go with the shares because if you're going in the boardroom, you might as well just provide liquidity because it's the same thing, all right? Which is where is it? Yeah, if you if you're going into the boardroom, you're you're better off just doing this because that's the exact same thing. It's like boardroom but slightly less, you know, restrictions, right? At the cost of slightly less APR. If you go to, let me see, Snow Tomb Boardroom. Gotta switch to Avalanche. If you go to, this is the boardroom, right? You have 39. Oh, this doesn't work because, oh, this won't work because they've been under peg for too long. Okay. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot to mention. When you're below peg, your boardroom prints no money, right? Because that's how it's designed to work. So that's another reason why you want to be in the liquidity pools. Right, because you're always gonna earn money. Because I got annoyed. I think I learned this lesson in Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb actually. I I got annoyed that Snow Tomb or Frozen, well not Frozen Tomb, but it's mostly Snow Tomb kept going up and down below peg, which meant my boardroom stopped printing constantly, and I found that very annoying. It's like you know what, I'm just gonna do the liquidity pool. I'm so glad that I did. All right, because no matter now I don't have to care what happens. You know, I just get free money essentially. So, all right, now I gotta switch back to this clown Papega. All right, just give me a second. I'm gonna go back to Phantom. So, yeah, so that's another thing I forgot to mention, right? You don't have to deal with the stupid boardroom, like, stops printing bullshit. So, yeah. So let the greedy people do the boardroom, but you, as the smart money watching my channel, will be doing this, right? And if you're not a selfish asshole like I am, then you would actually be doing Scarface uh, Phantom Liquidity Pool, right? The base token. And the good news is a lot of people do, do it anyway because it still pays pretty good, right? Uh, what do I want to click? I want to go, uh, you know what? We're done with this part, so we'll go. Yeah, this is a pretty nice APR, 14.13%. So that's another reason why I would still dip my toes in this because this is just way too juicy, right? 14.13%, right? High APO, oh, in fact, yeah, in fact, this is actually better because it pays even more rewards. So you would actually, so I, I don't know if I would still buy this, believe it or not, because I still prefer the shares. But you know, I would probably throw a little bit of money in this too, because at this point, I mean, I'm getting three percent more daily APR as the base token. So I mean, I kind of, <laughs> kind of needed to buy it. I so I don't know if Scarface always <clears throat> rewards more APR to the. Wait, earn S yeah. I don't know if Scarface allocated the reward pool for Scar FTM to be greater than the share liquidity pool, but if they did, that's actually that, I'm thinking that's actually the better way to do it because again, the foundationary you know let's not navigate away from there. The foundation of every tomb fork has to be the base token. When this thing falls below pay, you're kind of in the, in, you're in trouble and prices will tank and stay down until it goes above peg, right? And it just becomes very annoying to deal with. And I've, I've, so far I'm still looking at it, but it appears that you need to wait at least 30 to 45 days before the tomb fork actually stabilizes itself. That seems to be what I'm noticing. And all I had, all the, and the only data I really had to go by was tomb finance, 2 ohm, 3 ohm, and I believe Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb. Zilla Finance actually happens to be a, an exception. They seem to be doing a lot better than they normally would. 
and then of course it still tanks, right? You know, it still has the volatility of every other fork. But you know, it always recovers fa very fast. Assuming because David Dill is basically a one man dev, and he like you know like he's a really smart kid, right? Apparently he's like sixteen or seventeen, just like forgiven. So here he and he seems to have a really I don't know he acts much more mature than like a teenager. So I don't know, but it benefits us. So sure. So I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah, so I'll leave a link to the boardroom, the liquidity farms, and of course the charts for your convenience as always. And of course they always have the add the token MetaMask icons. That's a nice touch. I always love these, by the way, because it's a pain in the ass to manually add tokens to my MetaMask. So you can check this out. This is a very new project, right? Four or five days old. Just doing it because I just want the search results because I tried looking for this on YouTube and literally no one's covered it, all right? So, all right, so now I entered the game. So those are my recommendations. There's nothing wrong with actually waiting this out. But again, if you want to take advantage of those crazy 17, 14% APRs, even the boardroom, all right? Because I, I don't know what I don't know what this translates into. I know it's greater than the other, so I know it's going to be like more than seventeen percent, obviously. So I don't know. I'm going to guess it's like twenty percent APR, daily APR. So you can you make so basically you can make your money back. And again, so far, oh yeah, that's another thing too. They said they renounced the contract. Yeah, they renounced the contract on the base token, but the other stuff they haven't. And it's actually a good thing because you actually want to make sure that. Because the problem with Zilla Finance is they renounced too quickly because the because of the community at the time was because I wasn't in there at the time they're like this could be a rug pull renounce this could be a rug pull renounce so the dev did that and then he couldn't make the changes to fix the problem with Zilla Finance 1.0 and then now we have to go through this bullshit so you do have to exercise some faith in the community and specifically the devs all right so you know. Well, that's how it goes. So I personally, because remember, I'm a Christian. So I believe in God and Jesus Christ and all the miracles he did. Right? It actually makes sense to me now. But, and therefore I have faith. So that's why I don't want the devs to renounce. I mean, if it's going to be a rug pull, it'll just be a freaking rug pull. And usually the rug pulls happen, like, either instantly when the project comes out or within, like, 24 hours. All right? I have not seen a rug pull that occurred beyond 24 hours i can't i can't actually think of anything right and if it does it's extremely rare which is funny because rug pulls are very common so so yeah just just sh just show some faith and you go yeah just don't be so crazy about the renounce they'll renounce you know they should renounce when everything looks very stable all right and then you do an order or whatever so, oh, that's the other thing. I don't see an audit thing here. I'm not, again, I'm not in the Discord or anything. I'm just going straight by their website. So, you can wait. Nothing wrong with that. Otherwise, just put in a little bit of money. It is a little bit high risk. So, I don't know what's a little bit of money for you guys. But in my case, I would put like a couple hundred bucks. If I were to do this project, all right? I would just put in a couple hundred bucks, see what happens. I would get back 17, like a little more than 17% a day. So, if I put in like 200 Oh, actually, this went up. So I put in 200 bucks now, assuming everything's doing okay. That 200 bucks would make me like $37 every 24 hours. That's actually really freaking good. And then I can just do whatever I want with it. I'll probably do a little bit of compounding and then I pull out, you know, a little bit of money, right? But again, I always do the 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 share liquidity pools, not the base token. But that's me. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me make sure I get all these links. I'll, I'll, I'll organize it. I'll see you in the next video, which is going to be... I can do Goldmine Finance. Excuse me, which is undergoing a Genesis pool. So I probably want to get in on that. Alright, so in case some of you want risk-free farming money, you know, that'll be that. And I guess I'll do Rip A Finance. I think I'm just going to do one more video today, and I'll talk about Ripley Finance later. So, plus, you know, I'm still waiting. Oh, God, there's already, like, a lot of things. So, I got to go. All right, David, it looks like there are announcements in Zilla Finance. So, see you next video. Thanks.